XRP is making a massive move up as whales are accumulating with Taurus action right around the bend. We're also seeing Meme make a move along with XLM who's riding the coattails of XRP. The market's hot and I have even hotter news to share with you. What's up dudes and chicks? How are you doing? Check out the screen. Juicy candlesticks that look like big green dildos. We talked about that a few days ago. Your comments come first. Drop me some hot, some spicy. Maybe I'll share it in my next video. Thank you everyone also, by the way, for the support recently with the views and everything else. I'm super gracious. Steven Smith says, XRP at 58 cents. I'm not taking profits till it gets to $50. Yeah, comment down below. What are you doing with the pump? Godfrey says, I'll hold till five hundo. Take profit below a dollar? That'll only buy some Big Macs and a large bottle of Coke for six months. Then you're broke again. Yeah, with inflation out there, we might have to raise our sell targets to cover the cost. We're going to get to this juicy chart action, but first, you know the deal, let me peel. Bitcoin's in at 64,880, E, 3470. I'm just super excited. Can you tell the excitement is coming from me today? Like, I feel still like shit for my race, but I am actually like super excited. Like, People think I want to bring the bad news. Trust me, I don't. I bring the news whether it's good or bad. And seriously, when you see this action, this is good. What's deep in the green? You're starting to see meme pump again. That's kind of healthy, isn't it? Soul looking juicy. Why is Soul looking so juicy? Soul ETF rumors on the horizon. Why? Because the ETH ETFs got preliminary approval. Look at XRP. Up 11% in the last 24 hours. But that ain't nothing compared to what we've seen here over the last week and a half. Tell me you're not excited. Let's get to that news. Trump seizes on crypto as a wedge issue as donors trim on. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of donations rolling into Trump uh, from crypto industry execs and leaders out there, mainly because he's given a few signs. Now, I'm bringing this up both good or bad, happy or sad, and I'm telling you, this is I'm trying to give you some pro-crypto news. So, of course, Trump is the pro-crypto candidate. I'm not telling you what side to vote, just telling you what these people's backgrounds are. Listen to this. In a Trump administration, you're not going to see bank regulators forcing banks to close bank accounts of crypto companies. We've seen that in England, haven't we, friends across the pond? They're blocking a lot of crypto payments through banks. Now, what else did he say? Also, he would not use the energy department to single out Bitcoin miners. Totally true. The nitty-gritty details of Trump crypto policies haven't yet been ironed out. But based on his public remarks, echoed by the platform of the Republican National Convention, some potential winners and losers are emerging. Trump has pledged to promote BTC mining in the U.S., protect self-custody of cryptocurrencies, which is freaking huge. You want you want a self-custody, don't you? Yes, you do. And prevent the Federal Reserve from issuing a CBDC, because no, we don't want the government to control us anymore. Crypto innovators and others in technology sector are under attack from Biden and the Democrats. While Biden stifles innovation with more regulation and higher taxes, President Trump is ready to encourage American leadership in, in this and other emerging technologies. Uh, we have seen quite a bit of jobs pull back from the United States in the fintech sector, and it has to do with Gary Gensler at the SEC, who was appointed by the Biden administration. Now, to be fair, Right On the Trumpito side of things, they also did not hold Gary Gensler accountable either. There were a lot of threats on that side. Okay, I bring you news on both sides of the aisle because let's be real here. How many of you watched with me and everyone else in the chat? How many of y'all watched? And seriously, if you haven't, check out a live stream. They're seriously effing fun. I really cut loose. Chat really cuts loose. We let it fly. But how many out there watch McHenry say, you know what? I'm going to subpoena you, Gary. Gary, I am going to subpoena. And he threatened time and time and time again. It never happened. And then Gary was like, well, since you're not going to threaten me, you're not going to slap my hand for putting my hand in a cookie jar. I'm going to take more cookies. Now, Gary is effing diabetic as all hell because he's really been sticking his hand in the cookie jar. Now that Gary is diabetic and he realized that the Republicans aren't going to hold him accountable, right? Because he's got shielding from like Maxine, the Shermanator, Biden and all them. He's like, you know what? I think I'm just going to start bending y'all over. Well, no, see, he's been doing that all along and hasn't been held accountable. So we need stronger leadership out there to hold these leaders accountable. Pepe, dog with hat, skyrock, over 25% in a day. Talked about it earlier. Meme moving big here. People are getting into the speculative nature again. Look at Pepe, 30% here in the last 24 hours. Dude, 
dudes and chicks, sorry about that. It's about making money, isn't it? I don't care where you make your money. I don't care how you make your money. I don't care what coins, what tokens. As long as you are making money, taking care of yourself, taking care of your family, making your dreams come true, I'm a happy guy. So if you're big into the meme, if you're big into utility, if you like the ISO play, if you like the store of value play, everyone is welcome here. But what you really are here for is this. Ripple lawsuit settlement rumors. Oh, shit. XRP whales acquire 100 million coins amid spe the, uh, settlement speculation. Sorry, I still am having trouble talking from my race. My brain did get pretty fried from that one. But here's what's happened. Whales have been buying a ton. Like, recent, recent. I mean, like, recently, like, within the last, like, eight hours, whales have been jumping in. According to Whale Alert, whales have acquired nearly 110 million coins in recent transactions. Whale Alert reported an unknown wallet accumulating nearly 39, while another two transactions at 34 and 36 million were acquired by another wallet. Whoa, that's a lot of buying, and where are we seeing it? We're seeing it right here up on the screen. Look at this. This is crazy. And so my phone has been going off left and right. I got a lot of alerts plugged into my phone. And I'm getting a lot of news alerts on my phone as well. And it was a lot of whale alerts. And people are all thinking the same thing. We're going to get Torres resolution here soon. And here's the deal with that. It's going to just be about the penalty of primary sales. That's all that's left. But once it's over, it's over. That rain cloud that's hanging over your head is effing gone. You remember the commercials where like the person's like depressed like back in the day and they're like kind of mopey, right? And they're just kind of moping around and like the, the storm cloud follows them. That's the SEC and that's this case for Ripple and XRP. It's just that storm cloud, right? Well, guess what? Your Prozac, your lithium, your ladders, whatever the hell you have prescribed for that stuff, that is going to fix it. That's what the resolution is for this court case. It is going to be over. The cloud will be gone. Maybe a bad analogy, but I went there. Smack me if you want. I won't say the safe word. Now, I said earlier about Stellar riding on the coattails of XRP, and I think we can totally agree that that is XLM's only hope right now. Uh, native uh, development, native token news and all that stuff isn't doing jack shit for XLM. Honestly, it's mimicking what XRP does just with moves not as big. You can see, yes, both pumped decently right here. See, see, lines up right there and right there. But you can see XRP made the bigger move. Look at the move today. XRP making a much bigger move than XLM today. So yes, XLM riding on the coattails of XRP. Why is XRP up? Whales are buying because they think this lawsuit is going to be over and then business can go on as usual. And we're seeing some more pro crypto action develop in the political scene and let's be honest here would you want more pro crypto stuff or not if crypto is your biggest voting issue right if self-custody right if government override you get my point here okay i get it people on both sides of the aisle are welcome here that's why i ripped on the repubs earlier with McHenry, saying he's a total fucking loser Ooh, sorry i let that sit. language warning kiss my ass balls 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 by the way so you got that. You also have the greater market out here reacting to a shift in this like geopolitical environment. We've seen some massive voting changes from across the pond. Thank you, Trick, for keeping me informed with that. The world is changing and it's becoming more pro-crypto. So even the riskiest of assets like your meme, like your dog with hat, your bonk, your doze, your ship, your pay pay, your flow key. They're all a pumping because we all know changes are coming. Ooh, those drinks don't get any easier. But I am, I'm seriously excited. And I know some of you watching out there are like, but bro, you bring a lot of bad news. I bring what the market is telling us. So yeah, when those bars are red and they're going down like this, I'm not going to sit here and go, yeah, this is awesome, guys. We're doing great. No, I'm like, man, this sucks. People are losing money. People are getting liquidated and all that. But when the news is juicy and good, when we're getting a change in this political environment globally, which could be much more pro-crypto, much more pro-innovation and technology, that's a good sign. And the market is reflecting it by the heat map that I've showed you in this video across the board. Now, yesterday, I even took it a step further and I showed you the odds. There were some prop betting odds and I get it. I'm not trying to get people to gamble out there. If you got a gambling problem, seek some help. Okay, that's just how it goes. But the reason I brought up the prop odds 
is because they're increasing as well. One of them was like, what are the odds of Bitcoin being above 60,000 on July 18th? Um, okay, yeah, that's a pretty easy locked in bet. But over time, that bet now is trending up and up and up. It's really cool. Solana over 140 by July 18th. Okay, that's kind of an easy one, right? You see my point? Like the whole market is picking up on the change in this geopolitical uh, influence, right, that we're seeing on crypto. Now, in terms of XRP and XLM, I got to be honest with you. My biggest fear right now, though, is we see a repeat of the original Torres action, which saw it pump up like a dude on Viagra who took maybe a couple too many, but then, right, started going down. That's what she said. And that's what he said. Actually, that's what he wanted her to do, not say, but that you get my point. But I am fearful of that. I'm fearful that as we've seen this big ramp up, we're going to get an equally mimicked move on the way down. The original Taurus pump declaring XRP not a security in secondary markets was huge. But that price action didn't last as players took profits. And that's what I started the beginning of the video with asking you how you were going to play this and then giving you the chance to go back, read those comments so you could see what your co-parts, right? What your, what your buddies down below in the comments section are saying. So you get a better idea of market sentiment, what people are going to do. So here we are hanging out on a Tuesday as XRP is a pumping and the rest of the market's looking healthy as well. I want to hear from you, your thoughts on your plans. I want to read them because I've got an elliptical session I got to do here in about 45 minutes. Yes, I'm training again, back at it, getting ready for the 100K mountain race. Yes, I am stupid, I admit it. I'm an idiot that loves to run in the mountains. I'll have the old headlamp on at night and there'll probably be bears in the area, but none of us give a shit because we got to run, run, run. And speaking of running, I got to go. I'll catch you cool cats later. Choo-choo bitches.